Hello everyone, um, this is Azar and welcome to a video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you um, how, the, uh, how to use the CMAX with the uh, stimulations that um, will be given once you've connected the CMAX. So this will be a part 3 video and we will see then if I need to add another part. But for this video purposely solely we will be focusing on the uh, stimulations. So the three things you need to know here is that there are three stimulations that are based on the data. So we have the light stimulation, the uh, vibratory or the vibration stimulation, and then we have the sound stimulation. We also have here, which is a sunrise, but which is a part of a light kind of stimulation. So we'll show you after. Is that it kind of, the light kind of fades up almost like as if it's a sun shine. Or so, the sun rising, sorry. So um, let's take a look at the uh, light stimulation because this one seems to be the most interesting part of stimulation that um, you can use in ZMAX. So once you've opened the light stimulation, it will show you here all the colors that you can use. So if I just use any, and also you can be able to change these parameters of the uh, stimulation. So to get out of vibration or, alter, or alternate eyes when you're stimulating yourself with light you can use the light intensity on time off time to show how much you want the duration of the light to kind of um, stimulate and you can show how many times you want the lights to blink what i tend to go for is to go to the highest minimum of 100 percent of light stimulation of the light intensity for this depending on how some people that's why the ethical thing about cmax is that it has a function for you to be able to experiment with and be able to change these parameters so you know because everyone's phenotype everyone's um, way of sleep the environment is different so some people may not may wake up if the light intensity was too high and some people may not wake up Light intensity is high, and some people um, probably wouldn't wake up if the light intensity is not high. So everyone is kind of different. So that's why it's a good use. Be able to to spend some time, almost a week, trying to change these parameters and experiment with um, which stimulation functions would suit you. So, so I'm going to try and experiment a few, try some of these a few, just to show you the. Uh, um, how the stimulation works so as you can see here this one is a red light i've put the intensity red uh, high and light intensity up to 100 percent i'll put the on time perhaps to 0 0.5 off time to 0 0.5 blink times let's just say we'll do up to 10. now so i've got my um I see Max here and I'll show you how exactly how it looks. So um yeah you could try with other different um colours as well blue wait I'll just draw one more color just to show you I'll try something like um, green and I'll just put a vibration as well just to show you and that it will alternate eyes as well So you see that's that's perfect for the uh, light stimulation is that you can change whatever ones that you feel most suited and you can experiment with a few and um, to see which one actually works best for you. Now let's take a look at the vibration. So the vibration is something similar, the same thing of course. Um it's just here this gives you the um the parameters that you can use anyways. And the third one then is sound. 
So you can use something like I'm sure you probably heard that. So um Yeah, so um these are all the stimulations that you can choose and use around um whatever ones kind of works and suits you. For me personally I find that nice light and vibration will be the best one to kind of approach and that's why I will be spending a few nights um trying to choose the best one. Um because then the next video which I'm gonna do another part is to be able to show you the hasty score. So I'll show you the graph of how I slept so that I'll be able to show you um how the stimulation detected how the Zmax detected you during or after RM detection. So we will take a look at some of this stuff in the next video.